Hello, my friend, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, and I am an artist. I create dark visceral art, art that makes you think, makes you feel something, and really puts your raw, authentic emotions right on a canvas. And today what we are looking at is the full creation process of betrayal, which is this piece right here. Betrayal is an original oil painting on stretch canvas, 16 by 20. And betrayal is all about the feelings of betrayal. The story behind our zombie gal here is she entrusted her life with someone that she was absolutely in love with, infatuated with. She was head over heels for them. And she woke up one morning to find out that she was betrayed by them. And not only was she betrayed, but she woke up a zombie. So let's dive into the creation process. I really think you're going to like this one. All right, y'all. We are diving into the creation process of betrayal. And as mentioned before, this is an original oil painting 16 by 20 on stretch canvas and a little fun fact is this piece is my first large scale oil painting so woohoo that's exciting so the story of betrayal where the heck did i get the idea from so i actually had the idea for a short story first and that is in the works so just you know the little little candy for for later keep that in the back of your mind but the story of betrayal so this is a young gal who absolutely fell head over heels with someone completely infatuated she is in love she you know poke me with a fork she is done she has met the man of her dreams and he seems to feel the same way about her he you know he's kind he's generous he 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 loves her or at least it you know, it seems like on the surface of things that he he loves her. And then one night, of course, on Halloween night, because <laughs> that's how it has to be. She, I, she, you know, falls asleep. And in the morning, she wakes up and, you know, her brain is feeling kind of foggy unsure exactly of the events that took place the night before she knows that something doesn't feel right but she can't exactly pinpoint it can't put it into words but something feels off and she knows that something's wrong something went horribly wrong and she looks down at her hands and is just horrified and maybe is having some you know depersonalization derealization thinking you know this isn't real maybe this is a nightmare maybe I just need to wake up all these thoughts are swarming through her head but none are thinking you know this this just can't be and then she you know, goes into the bathroom and, and looks into the mirror and somehow she cannot believe her eyes, but she is a, lo and behold, a freaking zombie. So the questions are, how did this happen? Why did this happen? And what can she do about it? And at this point... All that we know is that she was betrayed. Somehow, in some way, shape, or form, she was betrayed by the person that she loved, that she 
was completely vulnerable with, that she entrusted her life with. She was betrayed, and that is how she ended up in this situation. So we'll be digging deeper into her story with more videos to come. And what you just saw was the varnishing process of betrayal. I do have the full video of that up on my channel, if you love her. But that is a look into her story. Thank you for watching the full creation process of betrayal. I hope that you enjoyed watching it just as much as I enjoyed creating this piece. If you enjoy watching dark art content, seeing how it's made, or listening to whatever words of wisdom come out of my mouth that week, I encourage you to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can keep having all of the luscious dark art content coming to you. And also, if you are interested in collecting the artwork, you can collect original paintings as well as archival quality prints and stickers and bookmarks on my website. The stickers and bookmarks are a great way of being able to take the art with you wherever you go. I will put the link in the description to my website. But other than that, thank you for being here and have a great day, my friend. Much love.